We've seen on the news that black people are being shot by police officers. What are your thoughts? I feel badly about that. I am here in Jamaica right now. I had the opportunity to sit down and have some serious heart-to-heart conversations. One person that I was drawn to was IU John Wool. Sorry, over the past month, we've had four people who are black and look just like you. I was stunned. My name is Yule, and this is how you sign my name. I'm from Portugal. It's amazing how a deaf-blind person could step up and be so incredibly articulate. I was taken aback. Wow, as a black person living in Germany, we talked about his perspective on what's happening in the United States. You know the recent controversial music video, This Is America? Take a look. Look what I'm whipping up. Look how I'm geeking up. I'm so fitted. I'm on Gucci. I'm so. That video has caused quite a stir and as a result gone viral. Is that how people truly view the US? Yes? In fact, it is. IU opens up about his experience and we talk about that video as well as other situations regarding the deaf community. You've seen on the news that black people are being shot by police officers. What are your thoughts on this? I feel badly about that because I'm black myself. I was amazed at how these shootings could happen in today's society. That reminded me of something that Americans don't really know about. Germany had a leader named Hitler. He's famous for his role in racism and oppression for people of color. In Germany, there was a huge conflict and that subsided. There's peace. Mhm. They're living a better life. I'm shocked because it's 2018. Yeah. How could we still have these conflicts? Right. That's hard to believe. I wonder, do you think about visiting the United States and if so, do you have any fear if you were to come here? Germans would ask me how I would handle driving in the US and what I would do if I was pulled over. I honestly don't know. I plan on visiting, but I'm not sure how I'll feel when I'm there. In Germany, we're fine with the fact that we're all black. But in German, there's a smaller population. When I was there, everybody looked at me, but they were respectful. When it comes to America, I'll still go, but I'll have to keep my eyes open. I'll have to be careful. Let's talk about morals. How do you sign that? This is moral. Ah, okay, thanks. Do you think that the United States has different morals and if so, how? When it comes to morals in the US, I see how they are grouped up based on whether they're black, white, Hispanic or Asian. It's okay how they cherish their own cultural values. but each group shouldn't be clashing with each other that's when killings happen now that the police is included there's more chaos it isn't like germany where nothing like that happens i want us all to be able to coexist we'll see i think groups are important to help foster identity to have that pride and support one another i think it's necessary Having strong values and culture and identity is fine, right. but when it interacts with other cultures, can it be a good thing? I see that sometimes the interactions between cultures don't turn out so well. For example, when we work with each other, we interact with other individuals. Outside of work, we stay in our own circles. It's the same as well in Germany. We will all get together for birthdays. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, birthday. Oh, birthday. Birthdays. Okay, right. Mhm. When it comes mm-hmm. to birthdays, we always invite everyone to come together and have a good time. We don't need to divide ourselves. After the event is done, we can all go home. In the US, it is a bit different. They don't seem to interact with each other in or outside of work. I wonder. You mentioned, oh, I have to ask, 
how are you signing Germany? It should be like this. All right. However, I did notice you signed it like this at one point. That's because I've acquired some of the U.S.'s culture. They sign it like this. The rest of the world signs Germany like this. It's official. The U.S. needs some time to adapt to that. You mentioned Germany's deep scars from Hitler's reign. Yep. That being said, is it your belief that that actually increased solidarity and respect for one another in the country? Right. We need to respect and support each other. Two years ago, immigrants from another country, like Syria, right during the war, Germany opened their doors and welcomed in those immigrants. They want to assimilate, but one issue that shows up often is religion. Where it leads to conflicts. Religion.、Mm-hmm. They weren't respectful of women and were violent. That reminds me of the times under Hitler's regime. Same example of racism. Nowadays, it's more peaceful, but there's an occasional conflict. I am black and Christian, and I openly welcome everyone to our country. These communities. I'm wondering about your upbringing in Africa. In, where exactly was that? South Sudan. South Sudan. Okay. This is how you sign it. In South Sudan, what were your observations growing up? I grew up in Europe. Did you feel that the communities were able to get along with one another, or was there animosity? South Sudan has its own divided society, but that's because of the language access. Dinka has their own language. Newer have a different language. They are part of one country, yet they have communication difficulties because of differences in language. It's the same for the rest of Africa. They're all divided into their own tribes, but it seems that happens everywhere in the world, for their identity of their culture. I can't tell you why it happens. I like how you sign that. I like how you sign the concept of communities. But to recap, it seems as though there are three major issues that keep coming up: those being religion, language, and politics. How did those create friction between the communities? Those divisions are commonly caused by language barrier. But we can manage to coexist. However, religion can be very difficult. When I grew up in Europe, Germans got along with each other. When religion comes into the picture, that harmony was gone. That's why there's inequality among cultures. I moved to Europe, and equality became something to practice. That was hard to get accustomed to. The society seemed more accepting, and there's still some language barrier. I was shocked with what happened to the people in the United States, with blacks and whites, Asians and mixed. I thought that was interesting, and that could be why these things are happening. Your upbringing and your perspectives are truly fascinating, which is why I I really do love talking to you. You have that Ebola vlog that went viral. I want to know where Ebola comes from. How can we get it in our cells? It is one of the most difficult diseases to track down out there. I decided to fly to Africa and went to the city to find out more about it. They were able to discover who was responsible for giving us Ebola. Gorillas. All right. So you sign Ebola like this. Ebola. This is how we sign Ebola. What was the drive behind that decision to produce that vlog? I did it because Ebola originated from Africa. Everyone, the white Europeans, would look at me funny. I explained about Ebola and how you can get it. I didn't know any of them. Luckily, I had a female friend who was a doctor and could sign. This was in West Africa. She worked as a support staff and left after three months. When I met her, I asked what she does. She said she was there to help give injections and treat Ebola. I seized the opportunity to ask her how Ebola could be contracted. 
She explained, and I was so impressed. I decided to set up a camera and make a vlog. It became viral with 100,000 wow. views in just one day. It cleared up misconceptions about Ebola sign and how it originated. It's a different structure formed with the Ebola virus with three strands. You can tell by the face structure when they have Ebola. They know who I am. Wondering when you became more engaged with the community about different issues. Recently, I got into a fight with people talking about being against cochlear implants. I am adamantly against cochlear implants and decided to use YouTube. I've posted videos that spread a lot of awareness from all over the world. I wanted to stop cochlear implants from being promoted and have the community involved. After six months, I realized it was taking a toll on me and it was better to take a step away. I didn't want to get drawn into that. People would ask me why I left and thought there needed to be more support among the deaf community. The hearing community is trying to eat up the deaf people's opportunities with closing deaf schools, giving financial support, and so many other things. I understand that, but I have a problem with doctors and corporations with heavy financial strength, where we're nobody to them because the companies get government support. I got up there and started to be part of it, and over time, it was time for me to stop. I was able to reassess myself and saw John Macher perform and his energy made me want to do the same. Now I'm able to get offers from other countries to present. Greece's Deaf Club asked me to come and perform for the deaf community there. I never thought I would perform and get so much energy from the audience. Everyone wanted more. I was able to go to other countries and entertain. For those that are unfamiliar with Jean Massier's sign, this is his universal sign name because of his hairstyle. That's it. Share. <laughs> what is your main goal here with these signing communities? Is it more information sharing? Do you want to spread knowledge? Do you want to see more collaboration? Or wait a minute, hold on, solidarity. <laughs> I want to see more of interaction between cultures. I have a half positive, half negative feeling because the deaf community is dwindling down in size. I've traveled around the world. Most people say there used to be a large deaf community here, but it's gotten smaller. They all say that. I try to get involved, but it's hard. All doctors and the government are destroying our future. When I fly to different locations, I get a lot of support and attention from the deaf community. I take pictures and share hugs with them. I feel I'm equal with them and it gives me a boost. Yes, I know that you are making an impact on the deaf community. You're making a difference. Indeed, I support and help people all over. They watch me, embrace me, want to take pictures and ask me questions like how tall I am. That keeps me going. And I am sure most people out there are simply stunned by how tall <laughs> you are, is that right? Plus, people keep asking me how tall I am. I'm around 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, yeah, I think we have to show the audience how tall you really are. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. Look at how tall he is. This is why you signed wow. his name just like this. That's right. Ayu is simply captivating, isn't that right? His perspective, especially coming from another country, is fascinating. He always has great stories to share. If you'd like to see more, be sure to check out his website.